Web Extra. If you've lived in South Florida long or tracked hurricanes for long, you'll know that hurricanes don't come just one after the other throughout the season. They kind of come in groups or little spurts where you'll have a hurricane or maybe a few hurricanes and then you'll have a period where it's quiet and then they'll pick up again. Of course, the exception was in 2004 and 2005 when it seemed like they came one after the other, but the conditions were extremely favorable that year. But what is the thing in the atmosphere that controls that little spurt of activity from time to time? Well, back in the 1970s, two scientists discovered this big, big feature that moved around the globe. Uh, Madden and Julian were their names, and this wave, as we call it, or oscillation, was coined the Madden-Julian oscillation. So what is it? Well, it is this wave that moves around the globe very slowly, and it enhances thunderstorm activity. In other words, when the wave is coming over, thunderstorms are more uh, numerous, more powerful, more extensive, more widespread. The wave right now is in the Pacific, but as we know, it moves from west to east and will soon be in the Atlantic. Now, one of the features about the wave is besides enhancing thunderstorm activity, during hurricane season, it enhances hurricane activity as well. So we're going to be looking in the next several weeks here, last weeks of August into early September, for the wave to move over, the MJO for short, to increase the thunderstorms in the tropics and to also probably increase the hurricane activity. We may even see our first major hurricanes this season during this passage of the Madden-Julian Oscillation.